Now, absolutely key to knowing just how much of the coronavirus pandemic we are dealing with is testing. A COVID-19 test kit that provides results in just over an hour has now been created by South Africa's very own entrepreneurs, Daniel Ndima and Dineo uh, Dioma. Now, they're from Cape Biotechnologies. Let's talk about this further now as one of the creators of that test kit joins us via Skype. Daniel Ndima is CEO and co-founder of Cape Biotechnologies. Uh, Daniel, thank you so much for the time. Congratulations on this one. Certainly one that is uh, warranted not just locally, but certainly globally as well. Let's talk about just the desire and the need to do this. What was your thinking in, in, in trying to find this uh, uh, test kit so rapidly as well uh, and how it came about? Right. I have to say that, um, you know, Cape Bio um, uh, was a project at the CSIR. Uh, it was uh, sponsored by the Department of Science and Technology then. We launched the company, uh, uh, you know, three years after the research uh, started. Uh, we launched that in 2018 uh, as a private entity. And we have been in the market since then supplying uh, some of the, uh, you know, sort of reagent components, including those that are used in PCR, we are uh, distributing this in the US and locally. And uh, we develop these uh, products as, as, as separate um, sort of components. But when um, uh, we, 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 we took note of the, of the pandemic, we then uh, decided to now put our technologies together. These are technologies that are produced locally. Uh, uh, some of the core ingredients of these technologies are, uh, are sort of produced by our company locally. So yeah. uh, this is this comes from our own capabilities as, as, as a company. Yeah, so I suppose the big question for many is, is it ready for immediate use? No, uh, maybe, maybe to also clarify that, this type of kits are used only in the pathology uh, laboratory setting. Not, they are not for, uh, uh, for, you know, not to be used basically at home. They are not part of the point of care diagnostics that we have. Uh, in the market, they have to be used by highly qualified people in the pathology laboratories, both yeah. private and public. So, so um, 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 these these products have to go through some regulatory uh, sort of uh, you know uh, framework that uh, that we follow from the government. So we're still doing that validation so that we can uh, launch them. Uh, around June. Yeah. So they are not ready. We have to follow the few procedures. Yeah, in, in an era where sickness ailments and some kind of viruses and, and the like sort of make their way around, the question becomes whether we can be able to find a way to test for a varying amount of these. Does this test perhaps offer a little bit more of a solution based for, for testing not just COVID-19, but certainly a whole, lot of, a whole lot of other viruses as well? Definitely. I think as a, as a company, when we started, we sort of wanted to produce uh, these enzymes and, and, and reagents and kits uh, as, as products for uh, uh, research purposes only. But uh, it's only, uh, uh, you know, a change of uh, regula regulatory framework that one has to follow in order for them to be used now for uh, various diagnostic purposes. Obviously, we have to comply with the standards that are set by our government. So, yeah, definitely in future we'll have more products coming out of this technology. Yeah. How much does this change sort of uh, the landscape when it comes to virus testing, do you think? Does it, does it alter how all other viruses are tested in future? Does it change how we should be thinking about virus testing in future as well? And as you say, this one's only for the uh, p uh, pathology labs for now, but is there hopes of getting this into a more mobile setting? Yeah, definitely. There are, there are a lot of uh, manufacturers that are, that are having machines uh, that can uh, sort of test on site. And uh, we are engaging uh, a few of them so that uh, people can uh, uh, sort of the, the, some of the clinicians who are traveling around the country can actually test, uh, uh, you know, South Africans in rural areas and, and in, in remote areas. So we are working around uh, some of these solutions, uh, uh, you know, but I'm not in a position to communicate some of the, the progresses that we have made so far. But I, I think we are heading towards that direction. But for now, is uh, you know, as a company, we want to be able to respond to this crisis in the country 
as soon as possible mm -hmm. using uh, existing capabilities at different uh, pathology labs uh, because they do have some of the equipment that we're trying to uh, uh, you know sort of to get this validated in so our scientists are busy with um, you know creating a universal uh, uh, you know testing kit that can be used in different uh, uh, settings. Yeah. Your colleague, Dineo Dioma, and yourself, Daniel, uh, surely this takes you out of commission for quite a lot of other things. Are you only busy with this now? Is there more on your plate at present? Can you expect a little bit more ingenuity from yourselves? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think uh, we have been uh, sort of trying to uh, pioneer, uh, you know, few technologies together. We have been uh, sort of uh, friends for over uh, 11 years now. Yeah. Uh, both uh, myself and Dineo are Alan Gray Fellows. So obviously through that fellowship program, we have been sort of, uh, um, you know, coming up with ideas uh, so, sort of to identify inefficiencies in the country, see how we can uh, contribute uh, positively to alleviate, you know, poverty, diseases and so forth. So there's a lot that we are doing, but obviously this is our main uh, 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 sort of attention. Yeah because this is a, um, a, a, a crisis that we need to respond to as, 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 as partners, but we also have a very capable team that sure. is making us in terms of research. Daniel, really, really appreciate it. Congratulations again. All the best of luck with it and truly hope that it goes from strength to strength. Daniel Ndima there is the co-founder and CEO as well then uh, of Cape Biotechnologies. A rapid test kit then, testing for COVID-19. It's currently still only being able to be used in pathological labs then, but tests in 65.